Hey, this is Paxton. Um, here to show you a simple program that I made and how to use it and what it's used for. Uh, first off, I'm just best way to, I guess way to explain it is to use it. And I'll walk you through the process. It's trust me, it's not hard at all. I just want to give a little basic overview of what you may use it for, how you would use it if you're new to Arma and editing, making your own missions or whatnot, or even testing scripts. Um, for example, if you had some, you made a mission, some scripts, or just want to throw something together real quick that some people are waiting for to play, and a lot of times, you know, it's frustrating itself, and people don't like waiting. Um, but, uh, let's give a little scenario here. Say we have six people waiting, they want you to host a, a server, three on three, deathmatch. And you can throw down the units, which doesn't take long at all. Uh, make sure they're all playable, and you got one player unit. And you you want to respawn. Um, so with that, your respawn base, it's it's called, is the most commonly used. Um, that's my son; he's in the background. Sorry, but um, respawn base. Just make a marker for blue four would be respawn underscore west and that's where respawn that's where the blue four will respawn at and then for your op four units you do the same thing except you would name it respawn east and so now you just save it uh, let's name it deathmatch And user missions, that's where I usually save stuff at, then I move it to where I want it. Whether, you know, depending on if it's going to be a dedicated server or, or just going to host it from the local PC. But once you do that, you get the program. It's, it's made, I made it with Java. Uh, so you'll need Java installed on a computer, which I believe most people probably have that. Uh, the latest update. There's probably even a couple of versions back probably still work just fine um, let's get right into it here it's real easy self-explanatory for the most part uh, author mission name it's be whatever you want but obviously you probably want to name it what you name your mission short description um, so you get all their team uh, disable AI if um, this one may be a little confusing if you're not used to it uh, what this is is you got these playable units here and when you're in the server list there'll be these will be slottable units and if you don't want AI to fill that role if there's no player there you would disable it to true for something like this you probably want it true because this AI is not told to do anything so if no player was there say once somebody dropped out didn't want to play um, those units aren't told to do anything, they just stand there. But if you have the true, when the mission starts, if you only have five people, you only have five units, the sixth one won't spawn. It does not affect any other units that are not playable. For example, if you had a, a start a group now. So for example, if you had one unit or a group of any type down that's not playable tanks, yeah, that's fair. Uh, it does not affect those. Those will be there regardless of what this is set to. Uh, re select respawn type. Since we used respawn west and respawn east, you want to set this to base. And I do have little tool tips up here to kind of explain it. Uh, let's just get base and instant up there. Um, some of these other ones are a little different. You can research them, find out how they work. But base is the most common. Uh, respawn delay is obvious. Uh, I believe I set a limit on how you can how high you can go, but I doubt anyone's going to go that high. And then once you have that, you just hit create. It'll open up your documents. And then since I saved it in user missions, you'll go to Armor 3 folder, go past all your mods if you have any. Go to mission folder, find the mission you made, and Here's your warning, I did not 
put anything in the check if there's a description EXT already there, so it will overwrite anything there. Uh, may get some hate mail because of it, but uh, this is really just testing. I want to see if people like it. If I find out a lot of people like it, I might do an update, throw that check in there. But just make sure you're clicking on the right mission. It's not really that difficult. Um, and if I get a lot of feedback from this, people like it. Uh, I am working on a simple script maker. We'll make scripts for the game. Uh, how involved I get really depends on how much demand there is for it. I would like to keep it simple so that people who don't know nothing about scripting can open the programs, uh, set different gear for different units, fill crates, maybe set waypoints, and set the image like description EXT here. To, you can't set your image on the load screen. I could easily put that in there. Um, but I'm just testing it out, and if you, and if uh, if you like it, let me know. And if you like the idea of the script maker, let me know because I I can definitely work on that project some more. Uh, but it's a lot of work, and I don't want to spend too much time on something that people aren't going to use. Um, and one way to let me know you like it, right here, I have a way that you can donate to me. Um, I'm not sure if Twitch likes it or not. They, I don't think they mind. But if they do, I can always take that off. But anyway, so once you do that, you're good to go. Um, but since I am going to be, since I had that in the user missions folder, I am going to have to to move it. I'll show you that it works. Um, I could just show you the folder and show you the files in there, but that's no fun. I'll just go ahead and host it and and. So you can see. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is it at? Right there. Go ahead and cut it and move it back a folder. Go to the MP missions. So this is going to host it on my local computer, and it's not going to be a dedicated. But obviously, you just move this to your dedicated MP folder. And if you're doing dedicated servers, I'm sure you know how to do that. I don't need to show you. Um. <laughs> Was I doing? Okay, now I got there and there. I'm gonna host it on my machine. Say I got. Let's do it on land. It doesn't really matter. Anything in that folder is gonna show up in blue over here. You can see I didn't minimal player, max player, all that said in the description ext. I, that's kind of shows you there. I didn't put that in there. Type. I didn't put that in there. Uh, respawn base that is in there. Uh, name author. Um, I can and then once you uh, let me start. See you got a uh, disable. The AI is already disabled. Respawn with the title author just a default picture. I can put that in the description ext where you can put your own load. You load your own file in there. Um, but let's see how this goes first. If you would like to see that, uh, I can obviously do that. Let's show you respawn works. Five seconds, like it was set to, and then you respawn on that marker, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Oh, and uh, comments. Uh, you probably found this link from the Armaholic website. Amaralic.com. Uh, you just paste in my form or message me or however we need to do it. We can I can get the feedback that way. All right. Well, y'all have a good day.